Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I am going to show you how you can implement authentication in your Next.js app very easily using Slack. It is quick, straightforward and you will have a secure authentication up and running in a short amount of time using the Clark authentication. So here I have a simple Next.js app where we have a logo and a simple login button. So first go to your Clark website and then you have to sign in. So I'm going to sign in and here I'm going to use my Google account to sign in in Clark. Then I'm going to create a new application. So I'm going to click here and for the application name I'm going to name it Next. I'm going to name Next.js and I'm going to use the email and I'm going to use Google, GitHub and LinkedIn. You can use any of this. So I'm going to use Google, GitHub and LinkedIn. Now I'm going to click here to create the application. And now we are going to use Next.js. So first step is we have to install the Clark Next.js in our project. So I'm going to copy this and in my terminal I'm going to split the terminal and here I'm going to paste it and here you can see in the home page we just have a each one for the logo and a button for login then go to here and the next step is we have to create a local environment variable file to add this environment variable so I'm going to copy this environment variable and I'm going to create a new env.local file here and I'm going to paste the environment variable here then what we need to do is we have to add a middleware so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to create a middleware file here at the root of our application and then I'm going to add this code so copy this and add it here now save then what we need to do is we have to wrap our application in the Clark provider as you can see it's wrapping the overall application using the Clark provider so I'm going to open our layout and in the layout I'm going to wrap everything into the Clark provider so just like this one so wrap everything in the Clark provider that's it then go to your page and here you can see they use the sign out and sign in so here the sign out and that means if the user is sign out means they are not locked in so what we will do then so we are going to use a sign in button so sign in button and inside this sign in button we are going to add our a login button and then after the sign out we are going to add a sign in so sign in button so signed in that means if the user is logged in what we are going to do we are going to show a user button and this user button then sign in sign out sign in button and user button all are coming from this Clark next year. so now if I save and go to our application and click here to log in and another thing that we are need to do is we have to convert this into a client component so I am going to use use client to convert this into a client component now if I refresh the page and click here to log in it will redirect us to the sign in page here you can see we have this beautiful sign in page you can click here to sign up with your email and password and you can use your social authentication also so I'm going to log in using my Google so if I click here and then I'm going to select my account and click here to continue 
now we are redirect to our home page and here you can see we have our user button so now if i click here you can see we can sign out and then we can manage our account here we can update our profile by uploading the new profile picture we can add email address and also we can add a another account here and you can get all of this in a very short amount of time and pre-built you don't need to do any hard work for this you can see how easy it is to implement the authentication now if you want to access your user information you can use it by using a const and we're going to use user and this use user hooks will give us is loaded information is sign in information and the user information so now if i use it here so let's add h1 and the user and you can see this user have a lot of properties that you can use so i'm going to use the first name here so now if i save you can see we have the first name of the user so if i lock the user you can see so if i console lock the user and then inspect go to the console See the user have a lot of property that you can use here we have the first name we have the full name the last name and all of these things you can use very easily in your application so you can see how easy it is to implement the authentication in your next app using cloud so that's it for today if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel for more interesting and useful video tutorial thank you